Okay, guys, here we are going in the front door. Okay, we have really low ceilings. They're painted black, which makes this feel a little bit uh, tight in here, plus all this furniture. So we have tile when you first walk in. There's a cutout of tile that then goes into this laminate here. You want to go suntan? It's a closet, but they have a tanning bed in it. There's your front door. You can come into the kitchen. The tile carries through. GE appliance, flat top range, microwave. This feels like the plastic pieces that you buy at the Home Depot, the backsplash, the copper color. This is like a Corian or something. One. A wood topped island. There's your dishwasher, also a GE. Wow, it's just really tight in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so we transitioned from the tile into the dining room where the carpet, the ceilings open up. You've got a couple of skylights there. You've got the stone facade, portion of the way up the wall. There's a second door onto the deck area. Here's your wood stove. You've got a breezeway up there that overlooks this area. There's your kitchen over there. Before we go upstairs, let's look over here. Again, the ceilings are pretty low in the main living areas. You go into this little pantry area. And this is your washer and dryer. Here's your hot water heater. Your furnace. They've got some shelves in here and it's very, very narrow between the washer dryer and this cabinet here. It would be difficult to try and do laundry here, I would think, because you're kind of smushed in this little area. It's probably about 24 inches wide to walk through. Oops. Okay, come back out. And then you have a pantry here. eating bar here on the side of the kitchen counter. Um, this would be probably your formal dining area if you had one. Oh, no, they, well, they have formal set up over there, so this would be what, breakfast area, I guess? They have it set up as a little sitting area. The tile does end right here. Transitions to this carpet, and they have another carpet on top of it. This is the master. You have two closets. Closet number one. And then here's closet number two. So 
again the low ceilings um, there's really big furniture in here so this is a decent sized room I wouldn't say big but it's good sized here's your bath you have your single vanity here and then you come around the corner and you have lights somewhere right Looking for a light switch. Okay, well, the phone back is, oh, maybe it's back here. Not that one. No, not that one either. Okay, well, you've got a stool. She's got a little makeup table here. And then there's a shower tub combo. This is not tile. It's one of those inserts that they you can buy and it's got a jetted uh, tub in it and then we'll come back around and go upstairs So looking back, I feel like this room would look a lot larger if it didn't have quite so much stuff in it. The kitchen does feel somewhat small. There's not like a ton of counter space in there. But again, if you ripped out that that bar and, and move the island that they have, you could put in a really large island or something, I'm sure, that would make that a little more functional. Um, okay, stairs. Yes, they are narrow for sure, going upstairs. Um, probably about two and a half feet wide. So you have this overlook, which is nice. You come down this hallway, and we've got bedrooms on both sides. There's also doors on each side. Let's have a look and see what's outside of door number one. Okay, this goes out to the deck that we were looking at. And we'll come down here to door number two. Okay, this is what goes into that sunroom that we saw. They have a hot tub out here. This looks like maybe the tile floors. Sunroom, there's a little bit of a balcony out there. You've got a slider here, but that first, first step is a doozy. But you could at some point add on steps out if you wanted on that side. Okay. And we will come over here. Some built ins right there. And we have a bedroom here and a bedroom here. So here's bedroom number one. I think it's about the same size as the master downstairs. Good size, big furniture in here again. So the closets are not walk-in up here. They're just uh, side by side. But there are two of them. some wood shelving in there. So this could also be a master as it has its own private bathroom. Oh, no, not private. Shared. Jack and Jill. 
The vanity up here is larger than downstairs. It seems like this might even be a better master if you were going to leave it as it was. I've got a small linen closet here. Same tile on the floor in the bathroom. This looks like a extra wide shower. Yeah, a walk in. Extra wide shower. Again, it's the insert. It's not real tile. They do have real tile up along the top, though. And down this wall. The walls are this weird... I don't know if you can see it real well. They're textured. Um, there you go. And that's most of the plastered walls you'll see here also. And then we go into bedroom number two. Yeah, so through the bathroom, but the access also to the hall. It's about the same size, but this one only has one closet. This one might be a little bit bigger, this bedroom. Just a side by side. Terrifying. <laughs> and I wonder why we have a curtain up here. There's a window right here behind this bed. Uh, let's go see if we can see what's on the other side of it. Go outside. Yeah, so there is a window in that bedroom that's not, you can't see it because that bed frame is covering it. Okay, I think we've covered the interior. I'm going to go uh, get my car and drive down to the other exterior building because it's down past the pond a little bit of a ways and I'll get film of that. Oh wait, I think there was a downstairs. Let's see if we can go find that. Hang on. I do remember another staircase. a closet. Did I get it all? Yeah, you know, there was an unfinished basement, but I don't see access to it. I'm going to research. I'll get back to you.